Nikki, this is kind of ruined. They weren't supposed to bring it out yet, but this is actually your birthday <laughs> present. So, what do you think? Happy birthday. Sold the house. <laughs> and one children. of the children. <laughs> It's Nikki's birthday! <laughs> We're with Jared. Oh, hi again. Jared. And then there's Michelle. Hi. And then there's Nikki. And we are going to the town of Stony Plain. So I don't go to the town of Stony Plain often, but when I do, I just come to this place. Tricked him good. Nikki, you've ruined everything. Sorry, I always do. <laughs> this is the linguine pescatore. This is the salad with chicken. Michelle got a nice looking roasted or braised beef something. Beef tenderloin. Oh, beef tenderloin. You got the short I got the braised. ravioli braised short rib. Oh, nice. Which looks delightful. Tilt that plate towards me a little. Oh. There it is, look at that. Say some kind words, Jer. Happy birthday, Nikki Newman Martino. You're watching this right now, and you're also sitting there eating a gooseberry. <laughs> gooseberry. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> What's so funny? A gooseberry on her dessert. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> We had a very nice dinner for Nikki's birthdays. Um, I say that the right way because what you're gonna find out this week is that Nikki has multiple birthday parties and everyone else usually just gets one birthday. Not Nikki. Nikki gets multiple. Hey everybody, you know I love you, right? So when I do these little talks here and I get a little upset with things, don't take it personally, but be changed because that's why I do this. If we just kind of go day in, day out, never wanting to improve ourselves, what's the point? To me, improving ourselves is part of the purpose of being alive. I'm constantly trying to improve myself, not just by the physical things, which are still valid, but by the real issues that go on in my heart. The real issues that can impact other people beyond the physical. So today I want to talk about something that will destroy you unless you conquer it. That is, Pride. Now, pride is a word that in our language can mean a couple different things. There's healthy levels of pride. Healthy pride is when you're proud of yourself, when you're proud of your accomplishments, when you're proud of family members or friends or something great happened at work. Your team won a game. There's lots of healthy pride that you can have about who you are as an individual. And that's good. We need to have that. In fact, not having that healthy pride in who you are can actually be very detrimental as well. And you don't want that. Confidence and healthy pride are together. That's not what I'm going to point out, though. There is unhealthy pride. Unhealthy pride is best described as if you had a balloon and you're blowing up the balloon and you blow up the balloon to the point that you know very soon it's going to pop. What happens if you hold that around other people? Well, they might cringe, they might react. Why are you bringing this balloon around me? It's gonna about to pop and they might even shield themselves from the balloon. Unhealthy pride does that. People respond a certain way to unhealthy pride. They cringe, they pull back, they shield themselves from you as an individual. Healthy pride can actually open doors for you. Unhealthy pride closes them. Here we go. Uh, someone's not fastened. Uh-oh. Oh. Safety first, everyone. Yeah. That's the name of the game. It is Nikki's third birthday party in the, of the week. So my birthday is in two weeks. So I demand at least five birthdays. Based on logic. Pure and simple logic. And then you, yours is two weeks later, so you get another 
one per week additional, right? That's I think that's how it works. Yeah. Remember last year, Al, when you were on this, when we went to Nixie's birthday, and I and I found that George Michael CD in your van? Yeah, yeah, you planted that. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I'll link that up right here. You gotta have faith, Jer. Yeah, and I do. And Alex. You do sound rough. It's either under John. But you don't look so bad. It's so. either under John or Don. There's John. I'm not sure. He's not feeling well. There it is. Why are you squishing me? Hi, Nikki. What are you ordering? Steak. Nikki. Nikki Martin. Cheers. The best person here. Happy birthday, Nikki. Hey dear, hey dear. This is the worst. Happy birthday. But you're the best. <laughs> okay, blow out the candle. Yay! Okay, you gotta be serious here because you don't understand how bad unhealthy pride can be for you. It actually comes before destruction. Do you want everything you touch to be destroyed? Because holding on to unhealthy pride will do that very thing for you. You see, every time you touch something, every time you affect someone else, you're actually tainting whatever you touch, whatever you affect with that unhealthy pride. And the more you touch, the more you influence, the more is built upon a sick structure, an unsafe foundation. And if you build upon that unsafe foundation, eventually what happens is everything collapses upon itself. Why? Because you were unwilling to break unhealthy pride in your life. What does that look like? Any time that you're unwilling to take advice or listen to somebody else because, here it is, because you think you know better than them, Let's look at the simple example of parents to kids. Obviously parents are gonna know a lot more, but there still comes a time when you have to listen to what they're saying. Either it's valid or not, but if you're just gonna base every single decision you have based on this pride that you're better than everybody else, no matter how well you think you're building, eventually it'll collapse upon itself. What if you're a manager at a job and your employee comes up with an idea, but in risk of you looking bad because someone lower than you had a good idea, you push it away. If you build things like that, they're gonna fall upon you and eventually destroy you. Unhealthy pride does one thing and one thing alone. It destroys everything it touches. Don't be a part of that. Happy Canada Day, everyone. There's John, here again. Uh, you know, we're just rocking our Canadian hats. Nikki's with the other boys up there. Now uh, the older boys have successfully been pawned off on someone else, which is great. Great for us. Although, hey Jackson, Jackson, are you having fun in Canada today? Are you having fun in Canada today? Yeah. Yeah. In my town where I live, we have this Canada Day thing. A lot of people here, eh, John? There's way more over that hill. We'll see them in a minute. There's someone I know. <laughs> hey, John. How's it going, guys? It's going. Good. Are, we, are you celebrating Canada 150? How are we celebrating or are we celebrating? Yes. Well, both. <laughs> well, we're here enjoying here we the festivities. It's are been pretty awesome. You're celebrating Canada awesome. 150. Oh, well. <laughs> I've come down here to Spruce Grove. I yes. Know, is it graced this establishment. Yes. And uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, hello. I'm Travis. Happy Canada Day. You too. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fade to the background. All right, see you Sorry later. <laughs> Stroking his beard. That's what I. He learned it from the best. What should we do now?
really hope you listen to me today because if you don't, I'm sorry to say, but the things that you're building right now are going to crumble. And <laughs> don't just write me off and say, well, you're really negative. No, I'm trying to help. The same way you don't build a house on a weak foundation, you don't build your life upon pride that will just later on come back and destroy you. You need people. You need people in your life to help promote what you're doing. You need people in your life to lean on. And I'm not saying just like, you, you can't live without them. But what I am saying is going to enhance everything you do when you have people around you. But pride will remove them from your life and it just isn't an option. I want you to be successful. I want you to realize the creativity deep inside of you and I want you to realize it by releasing it into the world. But if you're gonna hold on to pride, the unhealthy kind, it just isn't going to get you anywhere. And one day if it does and you just build upon that weak foundation, you're gonna look back and say, wow, I have nobody left to enjoy this with. Healthy pride, unhealthy pride. You can have all the healthy pride in the world. In fact, I encourage it. But the moment it turns to unhealthy, please, please, please stop. I'll see you next week.